Hello, my name is Ben Reed and I'm a sales engineer here at ESET. This demo will be going through ESET Secure Authentication, which is a multi-factor or two-factor authentication solution. Two-factor has become very mainstream due to the fact that constantly there are new breaches being announced in the news. People are starting to wonder, why do I have two-factor authentication on my bank account, on my email account, but I don't have it at my business? So ESET wanted to take our mindset of making things as simple as possible for administrators and as simple as possible for users and bring it to the two-factor authentication space. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and get the application installed. ESET Secure Authentication requires you to have a domain in order for the application to work. Because we go ahead and we tie directly into that domain. So all of your management is done in a familiar fashion that most administrators are used to working with on a day-to-day -day basis. If you don't have a domain, we have a full SDK that you can utilize and integrate into whatever system you might want to. But as you'll notice, the ESET installer is 12 megabytes. And so that's because we're leveraging tools that administrators are already familiar with. Things like Active Directory users and computers. And we try and make the installer as easy as possible by going ahead and automatically detecting if you meet all of our requirements. So it will go and it will scan all of them. It will double check to make sure that everything is done successfully on that server. If it isn't, we'll give you a prompt that will show you exactly what you need to do to correct it so that the installer can execute properly. You click next and then you choose whatever components of ESET secure authentication that you want to protect. So I can say I want to protect my VPNs with two-factor. I want to protect remote desktop. So if someone logs in via remote desktop, they're prompted for that two-factor code. Or I can enable it for things like Outlook Web Access, SharePoint, Remote Web Access, or even Active Directory Federation Services, which is the connection of your domain to things like Google Apps or Office 365. We can add two-factor to those sorts of places. And then one of the big forms of protection is Windows login protection. This ties in directly to Windows Gina. So that when you log into a desktop computer, after you enter in your username and password, we will then go ahead and prompt for a second factor code. With ESET Secure Authentication, that second factor code you can retrieve from an SMS message, a mobile application, or you can use any OAuth compatible hard tokens. After you decide what you want to protect, it's as simple as clicking next, and we'll go ahead and we'll complete the installation of all of the components that you spec uh, specified. After you're done there, we can begin the management of ESET Secure Authentication. So now that we can begin that management, we'll hop into Active Directory Users and Computers, which is where all the management is done. And I can hop into any user record within here and I can click on properties. And what you'll notice now is that there's a new tab within that property section. And that tab will be fully devoted to ESET secure authentication. And you can choose now, do I want this user to be enabled for two-factor? Do I want to, them to require to enter in that two-factor code? And I can choose to enable them for SMS messages, mobile application, or hard token. And like I said, we work with any OAuth compatible hard token. If I choose mobile application, I can even go ahead and click send application. And what's going to go ahead and happen is that users are going to get a text message. And it's going to say to install ESET secure authentication, please click this link. This link is going to take them to a website that will instruct them that they first need to download and install the application. Then they just need to click activate and use. And so when I click download and install, it's gonna take them directly to either the iTunes store, the Android store, or what have you. So they can download the application directly to their phone. Once the application is downloaded, you can then go ahead and click on it to hop into the application. And this is where you'll be able to retrieve your one-time use passwords that you'll log into whatever systems you want with.
So the process works very simply. After you've provisioned a user, you can go ahead and log into whatever system and we will prompt you for that second factor. One important thing to note is that whenever we are sending SMS-based messages or the mobile application, we are looking by default in the mobile number field. If your phone numbers are not contained in the mobile number field, and maybe they're contained somewhere else, that's where the other component of ESA comes into action, which is the MMC snap-in. This is where you can configure some of the advanced settings that you might want to tweak. And this is where I can change what mobile field I want it to look for for those cell phones. And this is where I can create and import in any hard tokens that I might have so that I can then go and assign them out to whatever user might be using it. What you can also do is lots of times when you first rolled out a two-factor system, you want to go ahead and you want to quickly provision a lot of users at the same time. So you can definitely go ahead and click on as many users as you want. And you can manage them all at the exact same time. So you could provision as many users as you want for whatever method that you want. And you could even go ahead and send the mobile application to them all at the exact same time. So what does this look like in action? What will my users be seeing on their end? So for that, I'll show you a Windows desktop login for an example. So here we have a normal Windows 10 login screen. Users are already ready to go, and all I need to do is go ahead and type in my password. Once I type in my password, instead of logging me directly in, it queries that ESET secure authentication server that then goes ahead and prompts me for that second factor code that I will enter into the computer. I'll take up my cell phone, or at this time, I'll also receive a text message, and then I can go ahead and enter in whatever code I get from that text message. If I have a hard token, I plug in my hard token, press the button on it, and it will enter the code automatically for me. After I enter in that code, now we'll go ahead and log me into Windows just like normal. Except now you've caused it to require the password and you've required a second factor, which is their cell phone, in order for it to work successfully. So now this prevents you from having users who might go ahead and install um, and leave their password on sticky notes. They might install applications that automatically save their passwords and so forth. So we're going ahead and we're helping you to prevent those sorts of practices from happening at all. And this goes ahead and concludes our demo on a quick run through of ESET secure authentication. Thank you very much.